All right. A little phone drop there. So, we're going to do a little walking episode today. That was a rule, a rule from General George Patton. Anytime you were, you were teaching or uh, in conversation, you should be standing. So, I don't do that every time, obviously, but when you can, you do. So when you're on the phone, uh, especially if it's a negotiation or a command, make sure that you're standing to deliver it. Thus, I'm doing a walk today because it's not that cold out. All right. So this time of year, I notice with myself, and I think it's very common, people start to um, be a little shorter. Uh, maybe maybe they go through a phase where, where they're moody and they can't figure out why. Some of that has to do with the circadian rhythm and it being darker and colder than it normally is uh, earlier, vitamin D levels. But I think it's just the flow of life, right? We're coming into the winter season and that's a time to kind of hibernate, rejuvenate, recharge. We gotta pay attention to these patterns. But I want you to reframe the resistance, whether that's from people, colleagues, projects, family, that you're feeling. Think about it in the gym. How do you get stronger? You get stronger by upping your resistance, right? If you just kept facing the same resistance, you're only going to get as strong as that initial adaptation. If I keep using 100 pounds, eventually my body doesn't have to adapt to that 100 pounds anymore, right? It's just, it's just a... a, a, a exercise and futility you would say right there's no applied extra stress so as you go through life and you start facing more resistance and more things in your way that is there to get you stronger to prove to you do you want to go through that to get to the next level think of it like a video game or not or do you just want to stay the same resistance is there to be an applied stress to get us better, to get us stronger, to get us more mentally resilient, mentally tougher, to help us better with reframing, to do all the mindset work that we have to do. Otherwise, resistance uh, doesn't mean anything. So the resistance you're currently feeling in your life or that you're you're facing is there to get you stronger. You gotta reframe it. It's not happening to you, it's happening for you. That's a reframe, right? So you apply that to the resistance. Resistance in any form in, in life is to get us stronger, to get us to the next level. And know that it's very common to feel that, to go through phases of that. You can either revert back and not want to face any resistance. But that means you're going to stay with inside your comfort zone. Which means you're going to stay the same. And a while back I was talking about, uh, it, it's, it's a funny thing with human nature. The avoidance of discomfort leads to discomfort. So think about that. Let's say you're overweight, to use that as an example. And this could be any area of your life. And you avoid starting your eating plan or workout plan or, you know, just health and fitness plan. Because it's uncomfortable. Well, a year goes by, two years goes by, and it's led to more discomfort. You're a little bit bigger, the pants are a little bit tighter, your energy's a little worse, your joints hurt a little more. So your avoidance of discomfort led to more discomfort. It's this cycle. Right? You have to be aware of that. So when you feel the resistance, realize that, hey, it's time to step outside the boundary. And I've talked a lot about the resistance in the past. Resistance is only going to show up when you're trying to get to the next level. Again, think of it as a video game. Life is a game that you cannot win. Right, It's ongoing. It's ever going. But you've you got to keep score. And you got to try to advance. And you got to have fun with it. But resistance does not show up when... We're trying to stay the same or, or, or even step down. It's only going to appear when we're trying to do something more noble or, or of worthy achievement or that's going to stretch us. And that sometimes that's going to come in the form of people, places, chores, things, projects. doesn't matter. It's going to show up. And I always say, I'll finish with this. Okay, nice short episode for you today. But... Resistance is one of the, the compasses, okay, of life. When you face resistance, go into it because you know that's the direction you're supposed to go. When there's no resistance, you're not playing big enough, you're not living big enough. 
but it means you're off your path. But with that too, you can't really be off your path because it's all your path, but you have to be aware of it. You have to be aware of, hey, there's no resistance this way. Maybe I gotta look this way on my path. So that's what I got for you today. Bite size, hopefully it was good, hopefully it resonated. But the resistance you're feeling at this time of year is there to make you stronger. All right, you don't have to deal with it right away. Realize this time of year is the time to recharge, but know that it's there to serve a purpose. All right, hit the like button, hit the share button, leave a comment below if you liked it. Um, I always appreciate your support. And when it comes out on iTunes in a couple weeks, please uh, subscribe if you haven't and leave a review when you get a chance. You all have a great day.